Surprisingly, my secret strategy has nothing to do with programming languages, though we will talk about Rust, Go and TypeScript in this video. I would strongly suggest not getting sucked into the language or framework wars. You are too good for that. You see, I think of a programming language simply as a facilitator for patterns, paradigms and code architecture. If I can figure out what pattern or architecture would be the best fit for a code solution, the choice of language comes easily. So here is the hard truth. With the pattern first mindset, you might want to have more than just one language in your toolbox. Now we are going to have a look at why I have TypeScript, Rust and Go in my language toolbox and stick around till the end where I will put a really nice flow chart in your back pocket. Starting with Rust. Rust is renowned for its emphasis on memory safety without compromising performance. Learning Rust equips you with the skills to handle low-level system programming, enabling you to develop robust and efficient solutions for tasks like building operating systems or working on embedded systems. Rust's ownership system ensures memory safety by managing memory at compile time. Mastering this concept not only improves code reliability, but also enhances your understanding of memory management, a valuable skill in various programming scenarios. Let's switch to Go. Go excels in concurrency, making it an excellent choice for projects with high parallelism requirements. Learning Go provides you with the ability to design and implement concurrent systems efficiently contributing to the development of scalable and responsive applications. Go's simplicity and readability facilitate rapid development. As a programmer proficient in Go, you can quickly build robust and performant applications, making it an ideal language for projects where time to market is crucial. And finally, TypeScript. TypeScript being a superset of JavaScript introduces static typing, enhancing code quality and maintainability. By mastering TypeScript, you gain expertise in building scalable and maintainable web applications, extending your capabilities to front-end and full-stack development. TypeScript integrates seamlessly with modern web technologies, making it an essential language for contemporary web development. Learning TypeScript equips you with the skills needed to navigate the complexities of building feature-rich and interactive user interfaces. So, when would I use which language? Let's jump into the flowchart. Is low-level system programming or maximum runtime safety and predictability required? Go with Ferris. If no, is strong concurrency support or performance optimization needed? Here is a gopher. If no, is the project primarily a web application or involves front-end development? I introduce you to whoever this guy is. If no, consider other factors like personal expertise, street credibility or likability of mascot. So here is my secret strategy to skyrocket my programming career. Be a polyglot, versatile programmer and expose yourself to as many patterns, paradigms and architectures as possible. These tend to change a lot slower than languages and frameworks, which is great for your long-term value as a programmer. As a bonus, when you find an interesting problem or business opportunity, you can confidently jump in on it with the right tools for the job. Thanks for listening, and here is what to watch next.